The shaker card I'll be making today is rather unusual because I'm going to incorporate a real peacock feather into it. For the card base I'll use this die set by Spellbinders. It is called Astoria Decorative Element. I've cut three largest frames out of black cardstock. Then I have used the large frame together with the medium one to create an open frame out of gold mirror cardstock. If you are interested in the tools and materials that I use for this project, you can find the supply list in the description and on my blog. This coordinating die set is Astoria Labels. I'll use these two dies to make a smaller golden frame. I'm going to both die cut and emboss it. Now to assemble the card base, I'm going to stick uh, two black frames together for extra stiffness. I'm using a large acrylic block to hold the die cuts down while they are drying. Then I'm going to stick the open golden frame to the black one. Next I'm scoring a line on a black frame, thus creating a flap. Now I just have to apply some glue onto this flap and stick the two elements together. The card is opened like this. And if we fold those little triangles at the bottom outwards, the card can stand on a surface. Then I'm going to trim the peacock feather to the size of the frame. I'll be using quick drying tacky glue by Scotch to adhere it to the cardstock. Although it dries clear, I try to apply as little glue as possible. Then I will also stick down the stem. I keep on arranging the feather inside the frame and then I will trim off everything that hangs out. Next I am applying tape adhesive onto the smaller frame at the wrong side. If anything hangs off the edge, I simply kind of roll it back onto the frame. And then I'm going to stick down a piece of acetate. When it's done, I'm um, applying more adhesive on top to stick some foam onto it. I am using 2 mm black craft foam, which is about the thickness of foam squares. I'm just pressing it down slightly and then trimming off the excess. The sequins I'm using are Night Sky by Cat Scrappiness. They are shimmering purple and green and they are matching the feather perfectly. I'm sprinkling some amount of them right on top of the feather. Then I'm applying tacky glue onto the foam and sticking the small frame right on top of the feather. To frame the sentiment, I'm going to use this open tag by Spellbinders, cut out of gold. 
I'm going to emboss my sentiment on a strip of black paper. The stamp is by Poppy Stamps, the ink is Versamark and the embossing powder is Gold by Ranger. After the sentiment is heat set, I can stick the frame tag on top of it. To attach the breads, I am first bending the two legs on one side. Then I am applying uh, some hot glue to hold those legs down. Alternatively, you can tape them down. I'm shaping this um, strip a little bit with my fingers and uh, then I'm applying some hot glue at both ends and pressing them down onto the card front. Now the card is finished. Here are some more tutorials that you might like. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and happy crafting!